Zali Stegall made a name for herself as a crusader on transparency and cleaning up political donations. This is also an opportunity for a new beginning in Australian politics. A beginning for honesty. But the independent member for Warringah, who famously beat Tony Abbott out of the seat at the 2019 federal election, wow. found herself in the spotlight for all the wrong reasons this week. Well, the difficulty is there was a mistake made by, uh, from an accounting point of view by the team. The, the cheque was provided to Warringah Independence and as soon as I became aware of it, it was rectified. During the 2019 election campaign, Ms Stegall's team received a $100,000 donation in a single cheque from the Kinghorn Family Trust. In October that year, her fundraising entity, the Warringah Independent, lodged that donation with the Australian Electoral Commission as eight individual pledges of $12,500. Because those pledges are under the threshold of $13,800, their source was not disclosed. It took almost two years and a probe by the Electoral Commission for the source of the donation to be properly recorded. It is unfortunate, um, there's no doubt about that. Um, eight members of one family each decided to donate $12,500 each, coincidentally. Uh, amounting to $100,000. Now, if that was the case, they would just have to reveal the total amount. They wouldn't have to reveal any one of the individual donors because it's under the disclosure limit. Where things came a cropper here was that they sent the cheque from um, one family trust account in the full $100,000. <laughs> The sole directors of the Kinghorn Family Trust are the multi-millionaire coal investor John Kinghorn and his wife. Mr Kinghorn is currently facing charges over allegedly avoiding more than $30 million in tax. He has pleaded not guilty. Climate change impacts represent the greatest threat to our national security, our economy, our health and our environment. If Stegall wants to be on the more radical end of the climate change debate where she's calling for a 60% reduction in emissions by 2030, which would basically be the end of um, any residual fossil fuels in the economy, uh, then um, I would have thought that uh, you wouldn't be accepting donations from coal or gas. I accepted donations from individuals who live in my electorate. Um, they have, in fact, divested from their major interests in coal uh, over 10 years ago. The AEC audit said the financial controller for Ms Stegall's fundraising entity provided the separate donation receipts. At the time, that person was Damien Hodgkinson. Mr Hodgkinson is now a director and shareholder of Climate 200, a campaign to fund climate change-minded independents like Ms Stegall. If we elect just three more climate-ambitious independents, our government would be forced into a race to the top on climate policy. Ultimately, the test for these organisations is what exactly do they want to achieve? I mean, they have a pretty threadbare policy agenda. Um, we're not entirely sure who their donors have been. If people want to be in public office and be in public life, uh, then they need to be uh, clean and transparent in their dealings. Senator Bragg has recently authorised a Zali has failed website. A spokesperson for Climate 200 said in a statement that it goes above and beyond the legal disclosure obligations, disclosing the identity of the vast majority of its donors. Recent analysis by the Centre for Public Integrity has found that the source of at least $1.5 billion in political donations over the past two decades is hidden because of gaps in political disclosure laws. There's lots of dark money in politics in Australia and that means it's money that's not properly disclosed and transparent. We don't know the source of it and that comes from a number of ways. So it might be making lots of small donations under the threshold, it might be attending fundraisers and memberships and there's a whole lot of other sources of money that don't need to be declared. 
28% of Labour's total donations were hidden, almost 40% of the coalition's total political donations were also unsourced. If people want to have a campaign finance reform discussion, then the Liberal Party, like the other major parties, I think, would be up for that. Ms Stegall will again contest the seat of Warringah. Her opponent from the New South Wales Liberal Party hasn't yet been confirmed. In a statement, she said that the board of Warringah Independent has at all times worked closely with the AEC and the issue has now been resolved to the AEC's satisfaction. There is no doubt about it that we need major reform at the Commonwealth level. We need caps on expenditure, caps on donations. We need a much lower disclosure limit uh, and we need real-time disclosure. All of this is really important to ensure integrity in politics so that we don't have people buying political influence through the making of large donations. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 730's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.